Leaders are talking about another deadly officer-involved shooting the second in two weeks. Leaders there are asking for everyone to hold off on it, making any judgment on the case before, because rather not all the facts have been released. WCBI's Allie Martin has more on it. Thank you, Mel, for this. As the investigation into the officer-involved shooting death of Antoine Shepard continues, Tupelo leaders ask residents to let the justice system take its course. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation will conduct a thorough and complete investigation of the traffic stop, the chase, and the use of force. Tupelo police say it was about 10 Saturday evening when an officer tried to pull over a vehicle driven by Shumpert. Investigators say Shumpert ran and was found hiding under this house. At some point, investigators say Shumpert jumped the officer and a canine. Both officers were injured, and that's when the unidentified officer shot the 37-year-old. Tupelo's NAACP president wants residents to wait on the facts before deciding what they think happened. What we need to do is now is come together and let the police department and the Mississippi Highway Patrol, that whoever's investigating this, let them do their job. And once they do their job, and if we don't feel like the outcome was fair and done fairly, that's when the NAACP, uh, whatever we have to do for, for this young man's rights and for this family, we're willing to do it. Law enforcement say Shumpert had an outstanding warrant from Texas. TPD says a passenger in Shumpert's car surrendered peacefully to officers when the car was stopped at Van Buren and Harrison Streets. The passenger was not arrested. City leaders say residents still must work with police. You know, that's worth mentioning that, you know, when you're stopped by a law enforcement officer, uh, cooperation is always the best. The injured officer is on administrative leave. We do believe the use of force was justified by the police officer. As in all officer-involved shootings, once MBI completes its investigation, the findings will be presented to a grand jury. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. And the next Lee County Grand Jury will convene in September.